Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. It is episode number 99. Crazy. The second greatest one to wear 99 was Wayne Gretzky, the first. It's Doug, actually. How you doing, Doug? Good, good. I was uh, leaning into that intro. I wasn't sure where you're going right to almost the end. And then I'm like, I think you're going to say me. So, hey. Yeah. It's, you're the greatest to ever wear the 99. I feel I need to write it somewhere on me. Well, it's it's on the uh, it's on the video, so it is. That's all it needs. Heart Hey, Hart, how you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks for showing up, buddy. How's okay. your day going? All right. Oh my God. Feel yourself up and find out. Yeah. Not the best. No. You sound a little under the weather. Is that the truth? I. uh... I definitely hey, uh, have become sick today. I guess yeah, I become sick today, and today was the start of it. So who knows how bad this is going to get? Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully you get through it, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you make it through the night tonight. So I appreciate you showing up, uh, even though you're a little under the weather. Hey, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Almost 100, 100 next week. We have some special things planned. Not uh, nothing too crazy, but a little bit of a party. A little bit of a party atmosphere. Yeah. It's also going to be uh, <laughs> the Shamrock holiday. Tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? It's yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. A Friday, St. Patrick's Day. Can you just imagine what's going on? Yeah, I took it off. I'm going to go downtown, have lunch with a friend, have coffee with another friend, see how the day goes. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. Rowie here. Hey, Roy. 19 months subscribed. Coming through. Watch streak <laughs> up to four. <laughs> Things are happening, man. Incognito for sure. For sure. Better open an incognito tab with this sexy man on my screen and the voice of the other guy. <laughs> you don't want to get caught with this in your regular browser. <laughs> nope. It's no good for nobody. Last episode with Shane ever. Maybe. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> Every, if I die on the weekend. Everyone's a risk. Every episode's a risk. If I die on the weekend, that's exactly what's happening. You got weekend plans that might allow for such things? Uh, no. Well, I had weekends. <laughs> But now I am not sure because I'm sick. Oh, I'm that's fair. I'm supposed to go to a Korean restaurant with friends tomorrow night, and I don't think that's happening because I'm ill. And right. I was going to go to a friend's place and hang out and maybe play some drums and do some recording uh, on Saturday, and that's not happening. And then a friend was coming up from Sackville on Sunday. It was going to be a busy weekend. Sounds like holy moly. Maybe that's why I'm sick. My body's just... like, you can't do any of that stuff. You can't do even one of those things, maybe, maybe. Uh, I I can't, and I'm wondering too, like when I ha when I had COVID, <clears throat> so I went to Toronto for that comedy festival and I got COVID, and this is what the start of that felt like. Oh okay. And I don't know if that, it's just because COVID feels like a cold, and this is a cold. Right. Uh, that would be I ideal. Mm-hmm. Uh, or if I have the COVID again. Right. It would be not ideal. I dare say less than ideal. Yeah, almost the opposite of ideal. Yeah. Do you remember the store called the Ideal Store growing up? Did you have that? No, I do remember the It Store, though. Same oh. Thing, right? uh, no, I think Ideal Store was more like a general store. And had things generally cheap in price and quality oh speaking of cheap quality you know what we forgot to do lock that camera focus baby every week Rambo, we talk about it rambo tv how you doing thanks so much for the raid there's 16 of y'all holy moly in. hey everybody welcome to the show hey look it's bia bia raider from uh rambo raid in the house hey bia and her, everybody her flappy fish yep Yes, thank you so much for the raid. That's very generous. So kind. How was your stream? What was happening over there? Yeah. 
Hi, Aurelia Chili. Hello, Julie. Hello, Bia. Chi. I said chili. It's chi. Aurelia. <laughs> I like chili, though. It's a good name. Aurelia Chi. Aurelia Chi. Sounds like a band. Aurelia Chi band. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds like super legit. A real eruption. Rambu, how you doing? Thanks so much for the raid. How was your stream? Hello, hello. For those uh, who have not been here before, this is Doug. He's doing the drawing that you can't see because it's too light. And um, Shane, yeah. I'm just a guy that hangs out via voice chat with old Doug. <laughs> with old Doug. <laughs> Oh, young yeah, Doug, young Doug, week. young Doug couldn't make it tonight, um, so I'm here. Sorry, Doug. <laughs> didn't, mean to, didn't mean to call it like it is. Oh, it is what it is. It be what it be. Oh, thank you, Julie. What a cute chicken. Why is our audio not coming through in our alert box? It's a great question. Thank you for asking. How do you mean? No one can hear us? Uh, well, I don't know. Is that anybody hearing the uh, audio for the, you know? For the show? Doom, 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 doom. Somebody just uh, followed, and the audio didn't kick, so I didn't see who it was. But thank you for the follow. Oh, yes. We're here every Thursday, except Almost. for the Thursdays we're not. Yep. Which that's is not very often, but that's accurate, they though. happen. Yep. We've hit 99 Thursdays in the last, this is what, year three? Not even, really. Like, if you stop and think about it, um, it's only been like two and a half years, calendar-wise. Hello, guy via voice chat, and hello, Doe. Hey. <laughs> if you put, I didn't know if you put an H at the end of your name, you're Doe. <laughs> I am, yeah, yeah. I remember when I went to a wedding in Colombia, uh, I felt really fat because that's what was on my name tag. I was just like, oh, oh, oh. Mm. No bread for me, please. I can certainly try, Via. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Teddy Bot's up, up, for, up for it. What's happening? Betty being difficult? Betty Bot's been on the fritz lately, and I have not had the time to get her together. Well, it's a lot like my uh, the... focus camera. Oh, that's what unfortunate. All right, I'll fix that while you do you. I'm going to draw. So I'm just drawing. Tonight, you might be able to see a little bit of a figure coming together. So uh, initially, I'm going to start with some blue pencil, then some red pencil. Then I'm going to work in with some green and blue pens kind of bring that kind of to life a bit more with some more gestural kind of play and then i'm going to hammer in some fat red and fat black markers and use the color of the paper for the highlights so uh this is a friend of mine on instagram uh who sent me some reference to draw which is always great and appreciated so I connect with a lot of other artists and uh a lot of models there built quite a network so you know it's kind of nice to kind of uh to build that and find that community without having to leave my my home like, literally my home the the world is so much smaller these days you know right mean? yeah to totally all right while i fix this alert you guys are going to see this alert a bunch of times <laughs> Let me know when you can hear it. Hmm. I'm just fixing things, Doug. You won't see chat for a minute. No, no, it's fine. I'm busy drawing things. Oh, Rambo's got to run. Wish you a great day, evening. Have to go now. Thanks again for the raid, my friend. Yeah, Let's thank you. you. Again. Have a great night. Or whatever. Wherever you are. Just make it great. Oh, there's a Twitch shoutout now? Works the same, except for... Oh. Look at that. Yeah, let's do that. What do you mean? 
Uh, I shouldn't need the at Mia. I didn't. I wrote the thing like that. Betty should be better. The channel you were shouting out does not exist. Oh, you need the at for the. Uh, oh, you can't put an exclamation point. And, and you need an at for the Twitch shoutout. Gotcha. I'm on it. Learning new things every day. Thank you, Mia. Yeah, thanks, Pia. It's... Hey, Angry Panda, how you doing? Were you already here? Did I already say that? Hello. <laughs> the raid, the raid audio played. Just don't think that had a follow alert. Oh, okay. Look at us making things happen here. It's wonderful. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get us a new uh, a new one. I'm gonna launch this. From what? Everything? Oh my goodness. Garel! One, two, three. Thank you for being a friend. Hmm. Did you guys hear that one? What's the word, friends? <laughs> oh, right. We were talking earlier, Angry Panda. No, you didn't. Okay. Why is the audio going to be so bad and not work at all? Answer my question, Doug. Because it wants you to work a little harder. You're getting kind of lazy. She just wants to be your baby. So work it. Yeah, work it. That is a great explanation, friend. I think you're right. Yeah. I'll just up the volume here. Give a little uh, save settings action. Let's give a little test. Can you hear that, Doug? No, right? Is the audio engine messed up? Be right back. I'm not really going anywhere. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, did you stream earlier today? It's only 11.30 here. I'm confused. We have the daylight savings time, so we we sprung forward. Mm -hmm. Hey, little Ange, how you doing? Hey, little Ange. You like bread. I like bread. Everybody like the bread. I bought croissants the other day, and then I ate them all too quick. Womp womp. I made power cookies and getting through them, you know. What are power cookies? <laughs> That's not the worst question you could have asked. Um, they got a lot of seeds and nuts and syrups and oh yeah 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 like, oats um, and things protein bread almost but a cookie protein bread yeah that's exactly it <laughs> <laughs> well little land you're a grown-ass woman so you just you go get those donuts i, I believe in you do. believe in you right, you go this works well, uber them in Nine, baby. No. I'm very upset about this. Uh... Are you hearing the, the thing, Doug? No. Right? No. What in Gord's green earth? Oh, well. It sounds like it's a problem for uh... another day. You heard that, though, Doug. Hmm. 
Do you hear me, Doug? Sounds like Doug's not hearing anything. I'm hearing you, but that's it. So if I play this, you don't hear it. I can't hear you right now. You just went quiet. Hmm. Interesting. Now I hear nothing. Hmm. All right, this does seem like a routing problem. We got a routing problem. Is one of these muted? All right, looks like we're gonna have to go without alert audio today. I'm sorry, I've failed at my job. I will not be here next week, I'll be fired. Maybe uh, Angry Panda was right, this is your last episode. Maybe it is. Well, it's been fun. Yeah, we had a good run. I thought yeah. we like 100. But nope, not, not with you at the helm. Apparently not, and uh, the thing I used to connect just uh, kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe there's a, maybe there's a lesson to be learned here. Something is going on. Yeah. What? Oh, I have one. Do you ever watch the John Wick movies? Was that something you ever got into? Um, <clears throat> yes, I liked them. They're really good. The new one's coming out, right? Yeah, I've watched the first two so far. Um, I haven't seen the third one. Is the third one good? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're all the same movie, right? So far, they do seem to be. Only Lawrence Fishburne was in the last one. But maybe he's in all of them going forward. I don't know. Uh, I don't really remember them. I remember them I remember them being like crazy good as far as action movies go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying them. I mean... Yeah, I'm enjoying them. Uh, are you running through them because of the new one coming out? No, I just kind of was like, I want something mindless. And that felt like that would tick that box pretty quick. Um, and yeah, I would say it, it did. It's not challenging my brain or anything too much. It's just uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. There was some, like, the the training that he went through to be able to do that stuff is crazy. Oh yeah. There's some really cool behind the scenes stuff. Like all that gun play. Oh yeah. Him doing that gun play. Like it's not sped up. It's not. Oh really? Yeah. Like it, it's all like art, uh, choreographed. I was going to say art. Cool. It's all choreographed stuff, but he does this. There's a, uh, it's a good video of him at a shooting range doing the shooting. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, it would be kind of a fun movie to, to make, I would think. Dia says, John Wick has the best reason to kill everybody. I would do the same. I would also be very not happy. Yeah. You don't kill my dog and get away with it. Didn't they kill his wife, too? I know that's least, that's least important, but... Um... I do feel that his wife is no longer in the picture. Literally, yeah, but he wasn't your... going after them until they killed his dog. Right. Because he felt his wife deserved it, or did they actually oh, I kill her? I don't. I don't know about that. Oh, it's a lot of undertones there that you didn't want to explore. I see. <laughs> I'm back in, and I'm with y'all now. 
Well, thanks for coming back. I With y'all now for now. Is anybody here? His wife died from the sickness Shane has. <laughs> Left him the dog. Help him grieve. And then they took that from the glorious murders by him. I should watch some of the I do so. Yeah. All right. I almost dropped something, but I didn't want to drop it in this. Are you a, a, a St. Patrick's Day celebrator, Doug? Uh, no, not normally. Um, you? I mean, like, when you and I used to, like, work together, we'd go maybe have a beverage at lunch or something, but, you know. Or have a pint. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a religious ceremony. Did you know that? The drinking? The day. Oh, no, I didn't know that, no. St. Patrick's Day was made an official Christian feast day in the early 17th century and is observed by the Catholic Church, the Anglican Communion, and the Church of Ireland, the Eastern Orthodox Church, and the Lutheran Church. Today okay. commemorates St. Patrick and the arrival of Christianity in Ireland. Oh. And celebrates the heritage and culture of the Irish in general. Cool. I didn't know all that, but thanks for the history lesson. Hey, I'm, I'm here to help, you know? You never heard... It's devolved into basically a reason to drink and paint your rivers green. As you would. As you do. Excuse me. You didn't hear that, did you? No, I just heard the excuse me. Causing trouble over here. Uh, what have you been watching lately, Doug? You got anything interesting on the go? Uh, uh, the Wicks. John Wick. I've uh, been... I rewatched... Did I tell you I rewatched Loki? Yeah. Okay, I rewatched okay, WandaVision. How was it the rewatch? Uh, rewatched WandaVision. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the rewatch of Loki. Mm -hmm. um, it connected more than I've kind of seen like a few other things since then. Um, so yeah, I, I liked revisiting that. Um, really kind of wanted to go back and, and catch the WandaVision kind of backstory now with like the new Marvel's movie coming out with Photon and Ms. Marvel and Captain Marvel. So I kind of wanted to get more of like Photon's backstory. Um, so that was good. And then, yeah, I kind of just forgot some of the characters that were in there, like the one from uh, Thor. She was Natalie Portman's assistant. Um, she was on Two Broke Girls, but she's was kind of her assistant um, in the science stuff. But then she came into WandaVision and I kind of forgot about that character. So, um, yeah, no, it was good. And then I'm very curious now with like the other witch, the Agatha Harkness, because she's got to know her own show coming out of how she's like the other most powerful witch and stuff. And then after watching like Multiverse of Madness with Doctor Strange, like, it made more sense when Agatha Harkness was like, announcing that Wanda was the Scarlet Witch and then we kind of realized in the other movie what that meant um right that that it wasn't just a nickname it was a something to take on it, it wasn't um, just her hair color no it just really worked out well that it was the person uh that was in that you're thinking of was Kat Dennings who played uh Darcy Lewis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Darcy. Darcy. I like her. She seems like yeah, I don't, someone I, you'd like. I didn't watch the show Two, Two Broke Bro Girls. I don't think I would like it. I agreed. I've never seen an episode. I felt very much the same way. But I like 
uh, Cat in the Marvel movies. I think she's good. Yeah. How old do you think she is? Oof. I'm probably going to do her dirty. Um, I'm going to say she's 36. That's exactly how old she is. Okay. She's 36. Not dirty at I all. Guessed younger. I'm finding I'm not the people guesser here. I find people are making it a little later than you'd think they were in age. So you're saying shoot high. I think you can. On average. Yeah, yeah that's a dangerous game you're playing there. Oh. Is there any other way to play? <laughs> Safe, I guess. Safe. <laughs> Safe games. Yeah. Fair. The AFL season started last night, and the first game was a draw. Well, that's a pretty boring start. Who was playing uh, last night? Was your team playing? The Brisbane Kookaburros? I feel like that's not what they're called. But you said it with such conviction, I wasn't going to doubt you. <laughs> Guys? Lions, the Brisbane Lions. Looks like they play Adelaide on the 18th. Melbourne on the 24th. Mm hmm. <laughs> Saturday night, that's right. Kuka Bears. I like that name. Yeah, I would probably call the team that for sure. <clears throat> Would you like to hear about the kookaburro? Yeah. All right. Once I figure out how to spell it, we're off to the races. Perfect. They're terrestrial tree kingfishers. Oh, not what I thought these were going to be at all. They're the largest species of kingfisher. Outsizing, outsizing even the giant kingfisher well a stout stocky bird that seems like they misnamed these birds they're cute as heck here i'll show you i'll show all y'all shane you remember my friend larissa yeah, she um, she recently bought a sofa called the Doug. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sent me photos. That's one way to bring Doug into your home. You know? Right. <laughs> this is the other. Via Twitch. Fair. That's the Cuckoo Barrel. I like him. Yeah, it's cute. I wasn't expecting blue, but I like it. Yeah, it's like a nice teal. Mmm. But that beal, beal, the beak, <laughs> the teal yeah. beak oh, is yeah. a beal. Yeah. A little uh, Robin's egg blue for the beak. Look at me knowing all my colors. Well, you've been hanging out with me a little bit the past two and a half yeah. years. Yeah, it's either that or I'm making them up. <laughs> yeah. Either way. But I think it's you're doing a good job. Some colors have some great names like chartreuse or... Nude. Arnicoos. Yeah, <laughs> nude's a good one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Roey's Australian Animal Adventures. I had a family of rainbow lorikeets sitting on my, I assume it's a rainbow, lorikeet sitting on my porch while I was eating dinner, and they were getting away from the storm. Uh, pull those nuggets up. Let me have a look. Rainbow lorikeet. They're cute. Rainbow. Yeah. Very, very colorful. You know what it looks like is a... Rainbow? Popsicle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. It's so rude. There they are. Done. Oh, wow. Oh, they yeah, remind they me of a... Uh, um, Popsicle, right? Yeah, but they look like... Uh, 
A bird in New right. Zealand. Um, is it the shit. rainbow lorikeet? No. But it's also be in New Zealand. No, it's a. I want to say I'm going to call it the wrong thing. It starts with a K. Can't remember. Could you look that up for me? Sure. <laughs> I will. I'll look it up. It's It'll like a, a new. Surprise. It's a. It's a new. It. If you do like New Zealand parrot, New Zealand green parrot, it'll probably come up. I, All right, we've got the. I keep wanting to say uh, Tui, but Tui is more like a crow. Let's see. Oh yeah, the Estem Rosella. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the Estem Rosella. Not this one. One second. This one. No, no, it's not colorful. It's all green, oh. but it's a parrot. All green. Yeah. The uh, cockapoo. It sounds close to that. I, it might be it, but I. Uh... Endemic cockapoo. Let me find a decent picture of it. They'll like go into your knapsack and uh, take your snacks. <laughs> so wait, they're me? Because I'll go into your knapsack and take your snacks. <laughs> they. Uh... They Is it this thing? Know how to open No. Uh it's more like a a bird of prey kind of parrot. A North Island caca? Oh, no. Interesting names for these. Oh, this one's cool. Uh it's not green though, it's red. Hmm. Here I'll show you. Mm-hmm. That is a cool bird. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at parrots of New Zealand, and there's a lot of... Oh, the key. Main species. Maybe. This looks crazy. Here we go. This little fella is so happy. Wait. Wait for it. Wait. Wait for it. Yeah. There he is. That's them. Hey, Sammy, how you doing? Nice to see you. The key, yes. Rowie, you got it. Yep. Rowie had it a long time ago. I just needed to look at all the birds. <laughs> look at chat. Yeah. The key. Yeah, those those things are cute. They take your snacks, apparently. Oh yeah. Ooh, they have red underwings. Did you know? Yep, that? they do. Yeah. Cause uh, when I was hiking the Milford Trek, they like would track you down so they could get into your knapsack, and then Man, they know how to how... un unzip things. As do I. Careful. <laughs> your snacks are not safe. <laughs> Zip what Ziploc bags like? will never keep you out. Yeah, that's exactly what they look like. Like they're majestic. That's so cool. Yeah. Doing good, Sammy. Doing good. Hey, Sammy. Burbs and burbs and burbs and burbs and burbs and burbs. It's the uh, it's our third theme now. Yeah. Well. Kookaburro, the key. Yeah, these are cute little birds, aren't they? I do love me a kingfisher, so I can see me being super partial to these. I'll tell you one more. Hello. Are you Thanks. showing me? Hey. I'd bring you a fish if I could. Okay, bye. Are 
Are you using pencil or a pen? Both so far. But right now I'm currently using a pen. Ooh. Yeah, I guess so. If you say I'm cool, I'm not going to dispute it. It's kind of calm. All right, cool, but sure. The art is an extension of me. Oh, I see. You are you pour yourself into the art. Like a margarita. <laughs> it's like a big old margarita. <laughs> like a like a pitcher of margaritas. You That's pour me. yourself into the art. Yeah. What does um uh, what's her name say? You could drink a case of you. Joni Mitchell. Oh. I don't know. I know a lot of Joni Mitchell songs. That seems off brand for you. You'd seem like a Joni Mitchell kind of fanboy. Yeah, I mean, there's reason to be, right? She's a very influential songwriter. But yeah, I just haven't listened to a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, A Case of You, it's called, Doug. Yeah, no, it's great. Tori Amos does a version. It's good. A case of you, Doug. Just before our love got lost, you said, I am as constant as a northern star. And I said, constantly in the darkness. Where's mm -hmm. that at? If you want me, I'll be in the bar. Yep. On the back of a cartoon coaster mm -hmm. in the blue TV screen light. I drew a map of Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada. With your face sketched on it twice. Twice. Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine. You taste like, so bitter I'm and so I'm sweet. So oh, I could drink a case of you, darling. Mm -hmm. I would still be on my feet. Oh, I'd still I be on still my feet. Be on my feet. Google fan fanzant. A fanzant. Oh yeah, pheasant. We have these here. Ring neck pheasants. They're all over the place. I have some in my backyard. I got some in my backyard. And I oh, named them all God. Phil. Oh. Phil the peasant. Peasant yeah. Phil. Yeah, that's you, you got friend. You got it. Herbs are friend and food. Bringing in Denny's here, Doug. A who is? A Denny's? Have you ever oh. eaten at Denny's? Once. In New Zealand, actually. And it was horrible. Oh. Yeah. I think we, the further away you, you get from the southern states, the worse the Denny's get. We have um, an IHOP here, and I've not gone. Have you? Are you an IHOPper? No, I have not gone. No. Did it, did it survive? Yeah, it's in um, Larry Utech. Oh, we should try that. I like pancakes. Oh, yeah. 3.4 stars on Google. Not doing so good. No. Well, maybe it's the same thing. It's better in America. Or maybe it's just better in our minds. Well, yeah, right. Or maybe America just uh, is okay with subpar breakfast foods. Well, that's true. But they have some good breakfast foods there, too. Are you talking biscuits and gravy? Is that I'm, what talking, talking? I'm talking Cracker Barrel. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> I the do first like... time I had biscuits and gravy, I couldn't believe that was a thing. Oh, yeah. Because uh, like, you see it in all the, like, all the movies and stuff. And then the first time I went to uh, Austin. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I got to try this. And I was shocked. I was shocked because the biscuits are sweet like cake. Yeah. It's almost like a strawberry shortcake, right? And then the gravy is just like this white sauce Ew. with like bits of uh, flat sausage in it. Yeah. And do you love it? I, I, was, I was just, I was taken aback, let's say. Yeah. Because it's like, it is so cakey. It is so much like cake with 
And you're not a sweet tart. No. I didn't get it again when I was there. Let's put it that way. Right. Once was enough. It does seem like something I would love. Mm-hmm. Exter. Let's have a look. What is it? Uh, it is... I gotta put burned after it. Yes, a magpie. We don't have them here, but they are in Australia. And New Zealand. And they're aggressive. Yeah. They're cute, too. Wow, that's a great picture. Do you think this is real, Doug? Whew. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. I love the idea that that is real. There you have it. From the master's mouth to your ears, he's going to go with it. Yeah. He likes the idea that that is real. Why should I limit you? You are real. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you're feeling better for your weekend. <laughs> uh, we are in Nova Scotia, Canada. We're on the east coast of Canada. That's where we are. That's how we do. Mm-hmm. Makes you think of the insane photographs you got in Geographic magazines back in the day. Yes. Absolutely. I loved that magazine as a kid. My favorite part was looking for underwater shots. I like all the underwater photography the best. Oh, okay. Now, were you partial to sharks over seals or just all of it? Anything underwater. Any shot under... It could be of kelp. I just, I just like the idea of being underwater. I, and... When I went to Australia, my main one of my main things that I needed to do was go scuba diving. And I got to go scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef. I spent uh, five nights and six days on the reef diving. And it was, it was honestly one of the best things I've done in my life. And I would love to do it again. Cool. Well, I'm glad you get to experience all that. That's amazing. Yeah, I love the underwater. Yeah. Are you excited for the L L Little Mermaid movie coming out? Um, no. Well, they're going to be... a Little Mermaid fan. I don't think I saw the first one. They're going to be under the sea. True. But that song makes me annoyed. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. The okay. Under the Sea song? I'm hearing you. I'm sensing some frustration. Some dis disdain seen almost. Putter. Have you ever seen a putter before? No. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you're so upset I didn't visit you? Well, yeah. It's a different time in my life, you know? If I went now... I would definitely stop by. Yeah. Heck, I'd stay at your place, meet the cat next door. You know? But we go for coffee. Not those snakes on the roof, though. Yeah, keep the snakes away. Keep the snakes away. I saw some pictures the other day of some spiders that you don't want to mess with in Australia. Yeah. I don't... I don't, only saw, like, a couple spiders, and I had the one huntsman run up my arm, and that was... Uh, not great. No, that, was an, that would have been enough. <laughs> you were like five or something? Yeah, it was, it was 2000. Yeah, exactly. I think I was in uh, Airly Beach. It would have been Airly Beach, and that was probably ni late 99. It was late 99, because I turned the cent the no, the century? Well, also the century. And the millennium. In uh, Harvey Bay. Oh, Harvey Bay. Which is even a little bit closer to you. 
13 hour drive. Yeah. Just down the road. That's the way it goes in Australia. <laughs> oh, it's 10 hours? Yeah. I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. I'll just leave early in the morning. Is there a sports team called the Kookaburras? Yeah, look it up. There has to be, right? Yeah. It's an oh, it's an Australian sports equipment company specializing in Australian rules, football, cricket, and field hockey equipment. Mm -hmm. Cricket premium cricket gear. Oh, the Australian men's hockey team is called the Kookaburras. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, it's the other hockey, the not ice hockey. Oh yeah, I figured that. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I clicked on the their Instagram link, expecting to see them on the ice. No. Uh, they beat me one nothing. Oh. AUS versus ARG. Arg. A lot of one nothing wins here. These are some handsome men. For the hockey? That guy's... No, the goalie. The goalie's looking a little worse for wear. A little rough. A little rough. Well, I mean, times are... it's a hard sport. Well, times are tough and things are hard. Uh, the ball's tough, right? They wear, must wear a mask. I would hope. You looked up yesterday, and the drive from the top of your state to the bottom is four-day drive. Yeah, that's good. What's it across Nova Scotia? Well, I guess it depends which way you're going. Well, it's two, yeah. two and a half, uh, width-wise, and probably. Seven, eight, lengthwise. Old. Six oh, hours Yarmouth. from here. It's Yarmouth, Yarmouth to Sydney. That's Yarmouth to Sydney. Ten hours? hours. Yeah. Six to Sydney from here. That's right. And four to Yarmouth. So yeah. Four to Yarmouth. Yeah. Ten. There we go. <laughs> Have you done the uh, Cabot Trail? Doug? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I did it in 2020, and it snowed. Ooh. Oh. Must have been treacherous. Um, yeah, it was less than ideal, but because uh, it was like October, so I was like, was not really expecting it to be snowy. You wouldn't but... have had winter tires on in October. Uh, no, you're right. I didn't. But that's okay. It was. I had the SUV, so it was fine. Ah, oh, you made it. You did it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Live to tell. Live to tell the tale. Beautiful scenery. It is. It's stunning. It's world renowned. Uh, you want to do the Cabot Trail on the Corvette? Angry Panda. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. Lots of twists and turns. Yeah. Some steep hills to climb. Well, we could do it together. I'll chase you. What would you take, Doug? Your truck or your... No, i take the Jag. The Jag. Oh, so you've done it already with the parents. And did you do it in the Corvette or did you do it in a regular, normal car? <laughs> <laughs> a less fancy car. Did you go clockwise or counterclockwise? That's the big question. I went clockwise. Have you done it, Shane? Yeah. How, which way did you go? Uh, so here's the thing, I did it in two pieces. Oh, you turned around at some point? No, so I went to uh, K 
Cape Breton twice. And, and one time I went up the one way, and then the other time I went up the other way. Oh, okay, yeah. Do you have a preference? Uh, yeah, one of those is better, and I can't remember which one it is. One of them, like, the scenery is better. Right. Uh, and I think it's the longer way, so I think it's the one that you don't just go, you know? But also, right. you get these people that are going so slow. Like, I get it, it's nice, but you don't need to go 20. Right. You don't. You don't. You can see it all going 50. Yep. And if you can't, maybe you shouldn't be there. Yeah, right? Because I think the speed limit 70 and 80, and I guess it jumps all around. Yeah, that's fair. Those that are visiting Canada, though, it is worth the drive. I'm visiting the East Coast. Mm hmm. We're at about the 8 o'clock mark here. I'm going to go grab a drink quickly because my throat is dry. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do what you're going to do to keep carrying on. I'm going to keep driving. Right okay, thanks for the warning. So, chatty people, what's happening this weekend? Anyone have big plans? Doing anything fun? Baby bear next to the road. People stopped. Go take photos. Oh, is this on the um, Cabot Trail? Waiting for better weather, yeah. But it looks like it's gonna be warm going forward, so that's good. I'm looking after mother, so long story short, mom had beef with the cement, so she face planted to show dumb. <laughs> Not laughing at your mom's situation, I'm laughing at how you described it, well done. Gotcha. Oh, that sucks. Well, I hope she's feeling better soon. Oh, Shane's gone to get a beverage because his throat is uh, um, a little dry because he's a little under the weather. Um, Rowie's mom had a bit of a spill, so she's with Rowie this weekend. Uh, we're waiting for better weather here in our area, so uh, little Ange and Angry Panda are waiting for, for the sun to come out at some point. What did you get up to, Bia? What's wrong with your mom? Read the chat. Roy tells it more colorfully than I could. No, she's a massive bruise. She landed in the hospital. Had a beef with them. 
Oh no! That's not how to show dominance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, Roe. I hope she's alright. Hope she feels yeah. better soon. That's a, that's a unfortunate bit of business. Yeah, a colorful way of telling the story, though. I did appreciate it. There was a baby bear next to the road. People stopped, got out to take photos. You know, the most dangerous bear in the world is a baby bear. How so? A baby bear lures you into thinking, oh, that's so cute. Look, a baby bear. And then you get mauled by its mother. Yeah, that's fair. Because the mama bear doesn't care about you unless it has cubs. And then it cares about you a lot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Accurate. Oh, you finished the uh, the figure drawing, Doug, of the man, yeah, the okay. pens, and the pencils. Yeah, I finished my man. Um, I can show you later if you want. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it later. Okay. What are you working on now? I was either going to do a face or a bird. Any preference? I've been going through a lot of birds today. I have a preference for bird. Okay, bird it is. Any of those birds before you like the look of? Nope. I'm going to find my own bird. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your stupid birds to yourself. No, I like them just fine. I like them just fine. Fine. I'm not going to do the kookaburra. No. no. I get it. It's okay. But I'm going to need some... Well, I'm going to prep here for a bit, actually. Okay. Okay, then. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Look at the Instagram professionals hanging a picture of his drawing. Was that you, Doug? Were you doing that? Mm, nope, I don't think so. Hanging no. a picture of my drawing. I don't know, taking one for Instagram. Oh, I was, yeah. Uh, I took it and sent it to the model. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. They're in South Africa, so, you know, it's uh, a different time zone, so maybe they'll get it. Whenever they get it. Yeah. Works with most animals. Look at the baby. No, better not. Yeah. Shut up and run. Yeah. Deer, I think you can get away with. And some birds. Ooh. Splash your basin. All my paints go. That's it's like someone stole all my paints. It's weird. I mean, most likely I just misplaced them, but it feels like someone stole them. It seems like a lot of things to misplace, though. something probably and then now i don't remember what i did <laughs> and that's why you should never organize you right know? never just let things be what they are yeah a mess a mess that's the me mario <laughs> i was gonna say luigi but yes
focus here. Oh, we're almost in focus. I'm probably focus. in the way. Focus, focus. Better? Uh, what's everybody been watching? Who's been watching something fun? I'm looking for a new fun show. Everything's so serious lately. We, and we can't talk about The Last of Us because Doug's not caught up. I'm not, I no. finished it. And I gotta it, tell you, I really liked it. Uh, I've watched... I'm watching The Mandalorian, if we can talk about that. Ooh, yeah. So, I rewatched The Mandalorian up till this point. You know, it's just it's just a good show. Yeah. Um, I'm liking this new season. Um, some people I had heard weren't loving it, but I, uh, I just watched the, the latest one earlier today and I thought it's getting good. Like Andor level good. I, I just hope that they fill in the time that they skipped. Yeah. I don't think they will. But it kind of like, it was kind of jarring just just like they just dropped a whole like it's got to be a couple of years that they just decided to, it's, I don't need to I don't know and then he just he's back yeah also I had that timeline like all wrong I thought that was like way later mm, no it's 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 all pretty relevant but, like, Boba Fett's a mess. Yeah. Did you watch the Boba Fett? I honestly couldn't get into it. Well, the last two episodes are all The Mandalorian. So, like, it, it's just weird because it's like, it's Boba, 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 then you never see Boba for the last two episodes. It's just, it becomes a Mandalorian show. Oh, like where they meet up in the Mandalorian, or both? Uh, yeah. yeah, I found Boba Fett a bit too slow for me. That was my problem. I just couldn't get. I just it didn't seem like it was going anywhere. Yeah, it's like oh, he's a lord of a town and he's not doing anything cool. Yeah. Is this a lot of politics? Uh, yeah. Oh, he took some drugs. Interesting. He slept a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder that show was so boring. Oh, you're, it's like half you're gonna an hour of him sleeping. You're going to sleep again, are you? That's lovely. Oh, tired. You need to lie down, do you? Oh. Get your bed ready, I guess. Yeah. Get your staff. Do that for you. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of the time he was. At least once an episode. Then people would just come try and kill him. Though I did like the Wookiee oh, it... in that one. I don't know if I even got that far. Oh, okay. Unless the Wookiee was early and I don't remember it, which is also possible because when a show, like... I get that in some cases you need to invest in the early boring parts to get to the good parts because there's character development and, and story development and all that stuff, but I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. I just found myself like reading books while watching that show. <laughs> like, oh. Get to both, man. Pick one. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I've been listening to an audio book about Loki. Um, um, like about the Norris kind of backstories and that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. How's that? Um, good, but I'm starting to lose interest. It's now what I like go to sleep to. It puts me to sleep. That's always hard too when you use an audiobook to go to sleep because you never know where to restart. 
No. I don't. It's like, did I hear this? I think I did. But, mm -hmm. but I may not have. I may not have. Uh, out of the Star Wars things, what's your current favorite? Mm, what are they called? Like either movie or go. I liked Andor. I thought that was good. Yeah. You? Yeah, I liked a ton of things about Andor. I'm looking forward to the next season of that. Mm-hmm. The, Mandal uh, the Mandalorian's good. I think um, uh, Rogue One is probably my favorite thing. Right. Yeah. That was really, really interesting. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And I guess Andor, like, leans into that at the end. Totally, yeah. Yep. The world's becoming way more rich now, the Star Wars world. There's, like, so much going on. Yeah, and, and there's... A lot of it's pretty good. And there's, like, stories of, like, people that you just didn't think about, like, officers on the Death Stars or, you know, like, kind of what they're going through. Uh, and if you put the video games in there, too... Mm-hmm. Like... There's even more stuff. Uh, the last, was it the last Mandalorian where they were uh, on um, the city world? Coruscant? Yeah. Yep. Uh, the last episode, you mean? Was that the last episode? Yeah. No, oh, then I am caught up. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Well, if you, well, it's, I, it seemed very similar to Andor when they were always in the. Coruscant. Because I like Mon Mantha. Like, she was my favorite character in that, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hilarious. Um... <clears throat> The Star Wars fan wiki is called Wookiepedia. <laughs> like Wookie. Yeah, I like it. I do too. I thought that's funny. You've been trying series on Cray, but I've not found something good yet. Did you ever watch Letterkenny, Doug? Yeah, I I did for quite a while, but it it lost me after a bit. You? Yeah, so I started rewatching from the first season to see if it was going to grab me or not, and we'll see. Because I watched it before, but I think I only watched two seasons of it. Right. And there's something crazy, like 13 seasons or something. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't realize there were so many. And they have, like, all their little specials and stuff, too. Like, a holiday Christmas special and And they have spin-offs. Uh, oh, like, like Shorey. Shorey's, uh, Shorey's or whatever. Yeah. Which, that I think that's when I started to not care. Because I was just like, well, that's not a character I liked. So I'm, I'm not going to go invest and try to like it. Canada does this with... Uh... Canadian born sitcoms is they overplay their hand and milk it for everything it's got. Yeah. Except for the ones that you sort of want that for. You like Shit's Creek? Yeah, like Shit's Creek. But I think I like that, the fact that they ended that. Oh, they're thinking about coming back. Are they? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. 
Hopefully it's good. Well, it was before. I know, but it's so hard to live up. Yeah. Just worry. It's not going to be good. You see the almost uh, uh, Mark Andre Fleury uh, Bennington fight? I didn't see the highlights, but I saw the article. Or, like, the write up about it. Like, Bennington clocked the dude with his blocker. Yeah. And Mark, on Mark Andre Fleury was mic'd up. He was. So he skates. Yeah, he skates all the way down. He's like, "Let's go, let's go, let's go." And the ref stops. He's like, "No, no, don't stop me. I want to fight. I, I really, I've always wanted to fight. Let me fight." <laughs> he said, "It'll be good for the crowd. It'll be good for the crowd. Everybody wants to see a goalie fight. Don't you see, want to see a goalie fight?" <laughs> That's awesome. It was so good. And it didn't happen. Uh, Angry Panda has what show has actually made a successful comeback? Or second coming, if you will. Uh, that's a good question. I don't think there's many, right? Like, even Arrested Development, when it came back for the fourth season after it was canceled, I think only diehard fans stuck around for that. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it because they tried something new. They tried something new with the way that they organized the episodes and people freaked out. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't linear. People like predictability. <laughs> it, was, it was trash. Uh, I don't know if it was trash. I mean, I'm a huge Arrested Development fan, so I think I found some merit in it. But it definitely didn't have the same feel as the first bunch. Which is unfortunate. It sucks, too, because there's a ton of TV shows that I'd like to see come back, and then you're like, well, would it even be as good now? Or would it even hold up? Yeah, well, so a couple of them, I think the if you could have one television show come back, Doug, which would it be? Same question to chat. Oh. Uh... Whew. While you guys are thinking, I'll tell you mine, because I've thought a lot about this. And I would have better off Ted come back. I think that show was prematurely ended and it could have been really good. It was unique at the time and uh, the writing was really funny. And if you get mm -hmm. a chance to rewatch it, I'd rewatch it. Um, for me, it's Carnival. It Is never it done though. They never finished it. They can't, it got canceled. It was so close to finishing, but it was so good. Not Carnival Row. No, Carnival. Carn Carnival Cruises. Nope. Oh, <laughs> Carnival TV. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Carnival. Oh, with the long A. Yeah, that's the one. In in the mid nine, it's the mid nineteen thirties, and we're in the middle of the Dust Bowl, a time yep. when sandstorms and disease were running rampant across the Great Plains. Mm -hmm. After his mother's death. Teenage fugitive Ben Hawkins is picked up by mysterious traveling carnival run by unseen forces known at only as management. This sounds crazy. Surrounded by magic. That's really good. Ben, ben reconnects with his long dormant super supernatural powers. Meanwhile, hundreds of miles away, an ev evangelical preacher is plagued with apocalyptic visions. What the two of them don't know is they're set to become players in the great battle between darkness and light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you never got to the, the battle, that would be a letdown. Yep. And I think it had like one or two episodes left to go, and it just didn't. Oh, I hate when they do that, too. They like, you just, you just got to give us one more season. That's it. Yeah. Just let them wrap it up. Cancel it, but then give them the last season. So there's only two seasons of this. It's on Crave. Maybe I'll watch this. I'll be upset, though, won't I? Because you'll cry? I'll be upset because they don't finish it. It's still very good. 
I would still say it's worth watching. Okay, cool. Angry Panda, you fully agree with Better Off Ted? My name is Earl. Didn't that run its course? I thought so too. I was like, my my pick was gonna be Weeds, but I was like, you know what? Weeds ended well when it ended, so it's not like I need more of that. But I loved that show. You know, we've done more episodes than My Name Is Earl. Really? My Name Is Earl had ninety six episodes. I'm kind of surprised at that. I would have thought way more. It's still four seasons. Not the hotel. The number of television seasons. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see why they canceled it. Because it wasn't very good? No, and I, I, I watched it. I think it was a, a funny show. Um, 10.9 million viewers the first season. 8.9 the second. 7 the third. 6 the fourth. But that's still a lot of viewers. Yeah. Weed was a banger. Weeds was a banger. Didn't it end, though? It fully ended, right? It did, yeah. Eight seasons, I think, right? Yeah, it was a lot. Mary Louise Parker. I liked her a lot in that oh, show. Oh, I, was really good I loved her in that show. And Just I cannot get her. enough of Justin Kirk, the one that played the brother. Now, see, him I did not like for the longest time. Like, I hated him. But I came around. But, yeah. What else is he in? Because everything I've seen him in, I like him. Uh, he was in some pet show after that that lasted like an episode, and then I never saw him pet again. Show. Yeah, he was like a Doctor Doolittle kind of thing. Oh no, that's not good. No. Maybe I'm just remembering him just from Weeds. Yeah, I don't remember him in anything else ever. I remember I they tried. Stand the kid. Which one? The one with my name. <laughs> Fair. Like you're doing, you're not, you're not doing us any favors here. Did you like Silas, Cyrus, or Silas, whatever his name was? Yeah, because he was like he found something he liked, and it was growing weed. Mm hmm. And then so he got real good at it. Oh, not uh, for for um, my name is Earl. A Angry Panda says not not specifically because it was his favorite show, but felt they had legs left and they knew what their ending would be if they were given the chance. So they just didn't get to the end of his list, I guess. Oh, okay. That's the Fox curse, though, right? No, no, no. Uh... No sitcom on Fox goes to the end. Oh, is that right? They're pretty quick to cancel things that everybody likes. Oh, everybody likes a show? Forget it. Yeah, who needs that? I think they had some crazy successes. So anything that wasn't a crazy success, they were canceling. So, mm -hmm. and that came out of the Simpsons era, right? So, Simpsons was on top with 20 million viewers a season, and nothing was coming close to it. And so, they were just like throwing stuff in the time slot before the Simpsons. Right. Or was it after? After the Simpsons. And the only thing that really stuck was Family Guy. Or, uh, no, Hank Hill. Uh, oh. Top of the Hill or King of the Hill? Yeah, King of the Hill. Ugh. And then they just started canceling anything that was like remotely good, but not good enough. Mm -hmm. So things would get two seasons. Everything would get two seasons, and you'd be like starting to get invested, and in, and they cancel it. Same with Netflix. Yeah, something's something happened to Netflix. Like in the early days of them producing shows, they were taking chances. They were producing 
good original material and then continuing it and then something happened maybe the executives changed or something but they started canceling everything yeah it's like you don't need viewership you've got like it's your own platform mm -hmm. like people have to watch it but people are clearly watching it if they're on forums complaining that you're canceling it yep but i'm also not a tv executive so could be warner brothers is hired maybe maybe i don't are they executives yeah. straight yep. to the executive track yeah <clears throat> Now, let me tell you who knows TV. It's me and Doug. <laughs> Together, we are one executive. <laughs> yep, it's true. Maybe two. Pitch a new show with Alanis Morissette. Why not? She's not doing much, is she? Good question. I don't think so. I'm sure she was at the Junos this past weekend. Did you go to any of those festivities? I did not. They were in Edmonton. No, they were here, I thought. Nope. They were in Edmonton. When are they here? Next year? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Next year. And they were here like four years ago, five years ago? Uh, nope, 2008. When Pamela Anderson... Uh, yeah, that was five years ago. Eight. Yeah. Five years Eight. Ago. Eight. Oh, you're showing your Has age. Has it been that long? Where have they been in the last... Everywhere but here. Everywhere but here. It's like, there's only so many Canadian cities. <laughs> I don't think there's enough Canadian cities to go from 2008 to 2024. This is fair. George Clooney is in the new Fast and Furious movie. Are you winding me up? All clones. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. He likes cars. I think it's the last one, maybe. Crash and reality TV stuff now on Netflix. Yeah. There was there was a time when there was no reality TV on streaming. And then people realized... What did they bring? They did that uh, so, uh, social media one that brought everybody in. Or the lo love is a... Oh, um... Love is blind. Love is blind. Yeah. I can't watch reality TV, so I don't watch any. The only real reality TV that I like to watch is Alone. What do you mean? There's a show called Alone where they drop people into the wilderness. Oh yeah. Oh cool. With ten, ten things and they have to survive. And the first two seasons were on Vancouver Island. Oh cool. Uh, there was a season in Labrador, a season in Mongolia, a couple seasons in Alaska. Um, the last season was in Labrador, and it was really good. Cool. <laughs> I do feel that we've confirmed no shows made a good comeback. We're still trying to figure, like, I know Arrested Development, but what, what are some of the other ones that have tried to come back? Uh, I tried to get chat GBT to tell me the um, the optimal Maple Leafs defensive lineup. Oh, yeah. And I said, use the current lineup. And so the data that they're using is old because it was like uh, Muzzin was still in there. And... Dermot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, they need to work on that. Okay. While most of re revamp classic comedies have failed, there are quite a few with successful comebacks. Animaniacs in 2020. Oh, didn't know. Yeah. Fuller House was a big hit. Was it? Yeah, that's great. It was a big hit. Oh, there was a Saved by the Bell in 2020? That couldn't have been good. I think it's younger show. people, though. What is? The Saved by the Bells. Oh, it's like a... 
rework. Yeah. No. It's all. It, they're just old. Oh. They're just old. I'm sure there's new people, but they're just old. Like. Right. Uh, this is the. Here's the. Oh. Oh. Dear. Wow. <laughs> your your reaction is 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 amazing. Yeah. Wow. It's wow. Yeah. You guess Brooklyn Nine Nine can follow as a comeback. How long were they off the air? Did they come back? I'm gonna look. I hope so. I love that show. But it didn't seem like they were gone very long. Uh, had eight seasons. Days. Oh, you as a 90s kid also enjoyed the 70s show comeback, that 90s show. Comeback isn't canceled and then picked up by another group. Yeah, there was a couple of shows that um, went off of network TV and then got almost immediately picked up by uh, streaming services. And in most cases, it was Hulu. Mm -hmm. Hulu picked up a lot of, a lot of shows that were canceled by other things. Let's see if I can find a list here. Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine was one of those shows. Yeah. That's right. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. Uh, it was on Fox, canceled, picked up by NBC for sixth season. Seventh season aired in 2020, and the eighth. Wow, really? 2020 was the seventh season. Mm hmm. Lucifer, Nashville, Cougar Town. Oh, yeah, Lucifer just came back, I think. Not Lucifer, uh, Luther. There's a movie, a Luther movie coming out. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Futurama. Yeah. It left? It did. 2003 and then back again in 2008 to 2013 and that's coming back again oh wow they're, they're doing episodes right now the expanse that would be one that will that worked out well uh 2015 2018 on sci-fi and then uh the rest on uh amazon prime mm -hmm. the last three seasons The Mindy Project? They're coming back? No, it was on Fox until 2015, and then Hulu picked it up after that. Oh, okay. Is that a show you liked? It seems like a show you might like. Yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, it's not a... I don't think I'd rewatch it. Right. So have you watched Lucifer? I know a lot of people like that show. Uh, I I tried it years ago, but it wasn't my jam. Yeah, I watched a couple episodes and didn't get into it. There's a couple shows like that, though. Like, the first time I saw Curb Your Enthusiasm, I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, they're just yelling at each other. It's just, it's not good. But then I gave it some time, and uh, yeah, really cool. You loved it. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious.
Pushing Daisies would be a good show to bring back. I really like that show. Same with Dead Like Me. That would have been a good one. It's too late now because it's too far gone. Those are both Brian Fuller shows who did uh, Hannibal, if any of you watched that. I never watched that. I watched a movie, but not the show. But the I remember. Show was good. I remember you liking it. It was good, and I'm not a horror guy, but I still liked that. It was very suspenseful, you know? Mm hmm. Cardinal Doug? What kind of verb is this? I'm not sure yet. Firefly was great. Did you watch the movie? And if so, what did you think of the movie, Bia? Serenity. Oh, they canceled Made for Love? He sounded a little devastated, but I don't I don't know that show. Um It's like a comedy sci fi thing. That was pretty good. Yeah, no season three. Huh. All right, then. That's annoying. It's funny. There's a... Uh... What to expect in season three on May 24th and then on June 11th, HBO cancels it. Oh, wow. Whoopsies. Rude. <laughs> you know what I need? I need a pellet knife. The old hot knife. That's what I need. So I got Crave. I thought I'd have a lot more TV to watch, but I'm not finding a ton of stuff on there. That's fair. There's a ton of drama. You know? Yeah. And old comedy. I want new comedy. I need something to wipe my hands with, but I'm all out of paper towel. I'll return. Yeah, I agree, Bia. They definitely tried to do well by the fans, but I don't know if it hit or not. Is the drama the apps? The app is so trash. I have no problem saying it here. That Crave Android TV app crashes all the time. There's sections that have no names for things. Playback is quality is spotty it's weird like you'll watch something and be like oh yeah that looks good it's definitely hd and you watch something else and it's, like the internet's fine the internet hasn't changed ah, anyway it's like that's the best quality they've ever had that thing in and it's a brand new show and then if you cast it it's in 4k but if you use the android tv app it's like downgraded logged out every 10 minutes i mean it's so bad Huh. You have tro what are you watching on an Apple TV? Crave? Apple TV? Doug? Oh me? Uh just a Samsung. On the app, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, it works great. No issues at all. Yeah, that'd be the web web then the Tizen. You have a Tizen? What's a Tizen? 
I don't know. Oh. Did you watch the Oscars, Doug? No. You? I didn't. Um, I didn't the year before when the slap happened either. No, I haven't watched it in quite a few years, to be fair. Um, I don't find I go to the movies like I used to, so I kind of don't know what's what. But I did see everything all at once. Yes, Roy, this is a self-portrait. Oh, little Ange wants to name it Christmas. Okay. His name is Christmas. It works. Christmas. So this is Christmas. That's what, how it is. what have you done? All right. Now that you're older. And a new Remember. one's just begun. Oh, a new one's just begun. So, happy Christmas. And a happy new year. Happy year. I hope it's a good one. Good one. And drink some happy beer. Whoa, that would have tears. Oh, different, different version. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, you have a theater near you that is super cheap. They just play a ton of ads, like a ticket, popcorn, large drink, and ice cream is fifteen bucks. You can't even buy a ticket to the movies for fifteen bucks. Let alone popcorn for an extra fifteen dollars. All right, palette knife worked. Was so necessary. Woo! Cool. Chubby Chubs That's came to life. Yeah. His name is Christmas. Yeah. I'm going to add a little more white. Okay. White. It's a smidge. Uh, do you want to know who the Oscar winners were, Doug? Michelle uh, that's actress, which is great. Yeah, they were saying, women don't think you're ever past your best before date. And I was just like, ooh, that's a odd thing to say. But yeah, I, I wouldn't have thought... Michelle Leo was ever past her before at eight, but so oh, why not? her her bread and butter earlier was kung fu movies. Yeah, well, I've been watching her a little bit in that Witcher thing, that new Witcher show. Oh yeah, Origins maybe. Yeah. How's that? I yeah, I couldn't get into it. Yeah. But it's better than like the original show. Which I, I also really like get in. Michelle Yao. Yeah, yeah, I like or, her. Oh yeah, or she's crouching tiger, hidden dragon, like with like uh, the movies she did with Jackie Chan and Jet Li way back, and then some of the ones that where she was the uh, main person. Yeah, totally. Once upon a time in, I think it was called something else, with Jet Li, um, Tai Chi Master was with Jet Li, but what was the other one? She played his mother and she completely stole the whole thing. It, yeah, she's great. Uh, yeah, she won. I don't. Un I don't quite understand why Jamie Lee Curtis won, but I don't know who she was up against. Uh, good question. Let me have a look here. Uh, you didn't think her performance in that movie was Oscar worthy? Maybe I do because I hated her. Yeah, which you're supposed to. Yeah. So, you know what, maybe, I just don't know, 
I didn't see that many other movies, so I don't know who who she was up against. So, of the people who were nominated that I know of, and the person who won, and the movies I saw, a hundred percent she should have won. Because it's the only the movie I saw. Nominees were Angela Bassett for Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. Oh yeah, that seems like a misfire right there. Uh, Carrie Condon for the Banshees of Inisherin, which I have not seen. No. The daughter in Everything Everywhere All at Once, Stephanie Hsu. Mm hmm. And Hong Chow for the Whale, which I also haven't seen yet. Yeah. So you, you would have picked Angela Bassett for Wakanda Forever? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, you know. Best? Okay, yep. That's what. So they do this all the time in, in the Oscars, right? They pick a movie and they bis basically give that movie a bunch of Oscars. awards. Mm -hmm. So that one. <clears throat> Everywhere, all at once, one uh, best supporting actress, best supporting actor, best movie, and then a bunch of other ones. Mm -hmm. What were the other categories? Oh, and best actress, they won. Michelle, yeah. She's good. Have you seen the whale? Are you gonna go see the whale? No. No. I don't think I will. The watch at home situation. Even then, don't think I will. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. some shade. Brendan Fraser, get lost. That's, that's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you sounds like you're gonna well, see it. Yeah, so so next year, uh, best picture is going to be Olympic Boogaloo. Road yeah. to the Olympic. I can't wait. <laughs> they should remake George of the <laughs> But make it a comedy. <laughs> it was so serious the first time. <laughs> Super yeah, serious. she's good in that too. Yeah. yeah. She's just good. And and I will say that if you like her in any of that, then check out any of her Yun Wu Ping films. So any films directed by Yun Wu Ping, any films choreographed by Yun Wu Ping are all amazing uh, kung fu movies. Not just for the kung fu, but for the stories as well. Mm -hmm. That would be my rec recommendation. So, uh, do you have any, if we're doing movie recommendations, do you have one that you would um, recommend for this weekend for our friends before we take off? Or one you are, like, wanting to see that you haven't seen yet? I, You know what? I think I'm going to recommend what you're doing, which is going through, back through the John Wick films, and I'm going to do that, too. Okay. I can't find where number back. three is, but uh, one and two are on Crave or Netflix, maybe one of those two. Anyway, I, but I might I, I'm, try Prime because I think Prime has all three. Oh, that makes sense. Because then I was going to go to the Cineplex store and just rent it, but yeah. Oh, you can rent movies like that. Oh, yeah. Not a, it's not a store. It's an online store. It's an app. It's just on your TV. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fancy. If Not anybody really. else has movie recommendations, stick them in the what you're watching. Because yeah. I'm always looking for new stuff to watch. I'm a big fan of the TV. Um, can true. we see your earlier painting from, from this evening? Oh, yeah, yeah. Before we take off, you were going to show me. You didn't see it. Yeah. Oh. So we have Christmas and... 
Well, we'll call this guy. Mary. 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 Oh, it's gonna hit my mic. Boop. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Bart. <laughs> Leah wants to call him Bart. Bart this Christmas, guy? everyone. Bart Christmas. Bartholomew Christmas. Sounds like a fine name. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Uh, it has been our 99th episode. Uh, next week will be our 100th episode. Please come with ideas for Doug yeah. to draw and do. We're going to make it an all-request all request day. We'll also throw up maybe the random uh, generator and see what comes out. Mm. It should be a long time. You never know what's going to pop in be... your face. That's right. We wouldn't be here without y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out. We yes. We appreciate you. 99 shows. It's crazy. That's right. It's in the books. Because of you fellas. Yes. Yeah, if you didn't show up, we wouldn't either. <laughs> That's very true. It's very true. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great week. See you. Take care. Bye-bye. Just keep staring at the camera. One sec.